everybody and welcome to what could be the first in a series of many videos but at the moment the first in a series of one. Uh, this is Retro Bear speaking to you live from the Gaming Pantry uh, where we are going to attempt a first. It is going to be an unboxing video. That's right, yes. Um, these should be very popular. Who would have thought that uh, people opening boxes on the internet would, well, garner large viewing figures rivaling that of Gavin and Stacey on Christmas Day on BBC One but people love them so who am I not to give the people what they want other than to stop broadcasting uh, firstly uh, thank you very much for tuning in if you are here for the first time thank you for stumbling across this channel by accident I uh, do hope you enjoy what you see and you'll stick around for further videos also feel free to check out the existing content and also uh, other uploads and if you enjoy what you've seen don't forget to like uh, ring the bell subscribe and comment and if you are back here uh, before then you'd have done all those things thank you very much indeed for doing so so yes you may remember from my after christmas pickups by hello hans it's a slightly different angle this time because the start of the show is the box or what's in the box as opposed to uh, me so i'm taking a back seat on this one uh, yes so you may remember from my um uh, video after christmas uh, pickups I showed off uh, a device I bought off Amazon for around about £20, which, I don't know, what's that in dollars at the moment? Probably 30 something. Um, and it's a relatively cheap device. It's to, to basically replace the, um, not replace, uh, as a backup to my uh, original NES console, which is a bit temperamental, I have to say. Nothing a, a sort of bit of love or care and cleaning would sort of not go amiss with, but I can't be bothered. And in this day and age, especially in the line of business I'm in, it's much cheaper to buy things and repair them or replace them. So for me, it seemed much more easy to buy uh, this device, not just to uh, replace the NES with that, but also the fact it's, it's sort of an upgrade on it. It'll uh, stream, not say stream, it'll uh, play the games in HD, 720, and it's just something a bit different. So for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, it is the Retron. HD. Now there are a number of variations of this available. Most of you probably will be familiar with the Retron 5. Uh, but that's way out my price range. So this is uh, this is it, and this is how it came from Amazon with a giant dent in the front of it. Yeah. Um, hmm, yeah. Nice looking box. Nice glossy box. As boxes go. Also got that nice little. Um, cut out there which is basically the retron uh, sorry the hyperkin um logo lots of people who made it there hyperkin as you can see there and so that is what it is it is that uh, designed to play in hd so we should be focus there sorry about that uh, designed to play in hd it would also as you can see from the slot here uh, has a cartridge slot and that means it will take your original nes cartridges and play them as normal well as normal as you can get to with the um, equipment inside it i'm no expert on these sort of things so if you're expecting an in-depth review in terms of how sort of pixel perfect this is yeah no that's what i don't do that this is simply me buying stuff and showing it to you like i always do with the pickups so shall we have a look inside yes ah good da -da 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 -da. Ah, oh, stuff inside. Fantastic. Right. Uh, it says attention, so I should ignore that. So this is what you got inside. There's the console in the plastic uh, bag. Uh, there. Now you must must bear with me because I have had uh, bits of this out. Uh, there is the controller, and in here is a lot of wires. Ooh. So shall we get the wires out first? Because that's the least interesting bit of this unboxing so the wires you get so first up there is the USB charger it doesn't actually come with a plug but it, I believe it runs off one of these one amp standard um, things that you get with phone phones nowadays um, most people have got they're like HDMI leads <laughs> loads of these lying around now um, so that's coming one of those nice long length as well lovely one side 
and also comes with these which is uh, excellent for people like me who can't record in HD at the moment uh, these are your composite cables so it takes both connections what do you mean both connections well these are the ones which will most of us all used to so the uh, yellow red and white cables um, and with my piggybacks I've got I can sort of now use this to record game footage because I can't yet record in HD um, which is where this would come into it which is the HDMI cable so you get one of those sometimes you don't get these uh, in no idea if it's any good or not I think it's just a basic bog standard one so there you go so you've got the two options so you can play you know horrible old composite or you can play in splashing new HD well is HD new anymore no HD is now the equivalent of digital television or analog television I suppose because we've moved on a bit from there haven't we now 4k now and as I've seen the new Samsung had now made an 8k television which is that thin or something I don't know, that thin I forget what the cap that thin yeah I don't know. back to the box so those are all the cables let's get the console out oh there's some instructions as well much easier to do with this place. pull that box out of there and there are some instructions there's the box I'm going to move the box out of the way now, these are the instructions that you get fairly straightforward instruction manual um, my eyesight's not what it used to be but basically it sort of says unless you're a complete moron you should be able to set this up um, I don't think there's anything here that sort of stands out from anything else other than the features on the console which I'll get to now but that's actually instruction manual that is it picture of the it sort of looks in that color it looks like an NES now it's gray no you couldn't afford color printing it does look like an NES look at that there the controller is unmistakable right this is the controller now I have it on authority now bear in mind I've yet to test this and I will test it shortly because the second half of this video first of all is me unboxing it and secondly is me going to be playing it uh, I have it on good authority from people who've tested these sort of things before that these are pretty good interesting features on the back and you'll notice there's two sort of raised uh, sections here and apparently uh, those people who, who've played this machine and, and used it quite a lot say this is quite good because the old NES pads which if I can find one oh. should have done this before I started but yeah the old NES pad I mean, most of you've seen these before, but you, you know what I'm talking about. It's comparing the two close to each other. Um, it's a bit square. Whereas these here have these nice little design cut off corners, and also those on the back. And apparently, it's meant to be much more comfortable for playing with. The buttons are such a bit clicky on the D pad that compared to the NES one. Yeah, that's a bit spongy, that one. Yeah, that's a bit clicky there. But at least you know you're moving it. And the buttons are the same as well, but they don't. It doesn't feel cheap. It feels quite sturdy, um, quite light. Is it the same weight as that one? About the same weight. As a comparison, there buttons are on the same there. A little spongier on that one. But yeah. So the other great thing about this is you'll notice the connector for the joy pad. I need to say joystick there. Let's hold it. Joy pad. Um, is also the same as the NES one fantastic which sort of you only get one of these by the way as well you can I think you are able to buy separate controllers but if you've already got an NES then it doesn't really make any difference because the next cracking feature of this console is the fact I'll just show you the front of it first of all there you go and you'll see that the there are two controller ports at the front and they are designed for the NES original controller so you can plug your own NES controllers into that and lo and behold you can play two player games on it how fantastic so this is the top of the console and I've got to say that looks pretty fetching I consoles tend to be uniformly black and when they are they're a bit dull 
you want a bit of a splash of color on there so this red is, is quite nice so you've got this little uh, sort of glossy plastic uh, thing up here which everybody hates because it just gets fingerprints on it and you've got one down the bottom there there's the retro on front it's got that sort of nes design on the front of it those are you can see in there there's the uh, pins for the cartridge you can't see further inside there but there are uh, circuit you can see the circuit boards inside and it's got the retron hd there it's also got the hyperkin logo apparently that lights up when it's turned on another interesting feature this is the front and we mentioned that before there's the joystick control ports uh, joystick joypad control ports also you've still got these chunky buttons which we um, have on the nes as well so power and also reset button as well and um, that works as it should do as does that nothing strange about there nothing untoward about that uh, the side of the console is exactly the same both sides so again nothing there this is the back and as you can see there you've got your uh, power supply point there your usb power your hdmi port there those are your composite sockets and this switch here um, allows you to toggle between uh, stretchy 16.9 or box shaped 4.3 so interesting ways of producing your game image on the television again always good to have those options available and this is the other fantastic part about it underneath there you've got the ventilation you'll also notice a little switch here and this was a selling point for me uh, this allows you to toggle between PAL cartridges and NTSC cartridges isn't that great so you can play um, American cartridges on this which is great for me because I have an American cartridge which I can't play which is my other reason, reason for buying it as I can now play a copy of Super Mario Bros 2 which I would no longer have not been able to play it at all unless I would so decided to invest in one of these giant super moderated consoles which I wouldn't use anyway also you've got your four pads on the bottom here just to make sure the cold sole balances and doesn't move too much unless you really give it a poke and that is it that is what you get for your 20 nicker I don't forget the instruction manual but that I don't know I mean that is a pretty good deal that is a pretty good deal like I said I'm not in I'm, I should just say I'm not endorsed by uh, Hyperkin or Amazon to sell this to you or anything like that but if you have an NES or you have NES cartridges which can't be prepared which are American ones and you want in a cheap way of being able to do it this is it and for 20 quid I mean that's nothing is it really I mean 20 pounds it's it's to me it's a no-brainer and, and I don't usually buy these sorts of things because I prefer to keep my you know games playing yes I've got an Xbox which I can play emulation on but I'm quite happy to get this because uh, I think it's a good investment and it will aid me to, me to sort my NES out and I can prolong the life of that by using this instead. So the big question is how does this match up with the NES? Now again as I said right at the start I'm not going to be sort of sitting here and giving you screenshots of what the NES looks like and what this looks like and what something else looks like and the differences between the things. I'm just going to show you how it plays on my TV and my experience with it there is a video which i'd like to put a link in the bottom for from my friend retro 48k who's done a, a very very similar video on this if you want to see the comparisons and the pictures and stuff like that go and have a look at that video because he's done a really really good job about it really well explanation he does point out some of the um slight issues with the translation from the original cartridge to the screen but um on the whole um it's a good video and it will answer those questions for you what i'm going to show you now i haven't got many nes games myself but i'll play through what i've got and then hopefully we can see from that uh, exactly whether you agree with me this is 20 quid well spent or not so the next time you'll see the screen uh, there'll be some games on it for a change rather than me talking about games
so yeah firstly apologies for the uh, rather ratty footage on that video of what was being recorded but uh, i can't record in hd which is a bit of a problem and also um the composite cables i was supplied appear to be playing up because i couldn't get all the games to uh, transmit an image through the computer which is rather disappointing so the the three you got there were batman suit mario brothers and the ntsc version of mario 2 which seemed to work quite nicely and then the hd footage you saw which was super mario brothers 3 um we also have gauntlet and isolated warrior and a big thank you to the retro bear trio for their uh, music to accompany those again recorded without any sound hey ho right so what can i say about this then well i think for 20 quid it is a pretty good device and you could do a lot worse than buy something like this obviously if you've got a bit more money you're going to go probably for uh, the retron 5 or even the retron 3 which has got more more uh, uh, console variations it can run through it this though is ideal for something like that if you can't afford yourself a, an nes then this is certainly the way to go and yeah i'm, I'm pretty pleased with it the only other thing i'm going to say about it which i'm a little bit unhappy with but i think this may be down to the nature of the actual um cartridges themselves is that yes there's a couple of issues with the emulation you may have noticed the super mario brothers music seemed a little bit speeded up but i'm really bothered about that uh, the only other thing i can say is that getting this into that is a bit of a pain in the backside uh, it's quite a tight fit so when that goes in it takes a bit of effort to get it out again um and i'm i don't know i'd I'm worried about other damaging this or damaging that and yeah it's a bit of a it's a bit of a strange when I'm not in quite entirely sure if I'm happy doing that but then again I seem to remember that the mass system cartridges are exactly the same sort of thing um they are incredibly whichever way whichever one I use that's mass system original mass system to even using the power based converter getting cartridges in and out is a bit of a you know a bit of a worry so I wouldn't say it's a bad thing, it's just be wary about when you're trying to get them out again. A release button probably would have been absolutely sufficient to sort something like that out. Uh, what we have on the Super Nintendo would have been probably ideal for it. But generally speaking, this is a pretty good bit of kit for 20 quid, and I can wholeheartedly recommend it, especially if you're looking to collecting NES stuff, or you already have NES stuff, or you're looking to uh, collect, you know, sub-collect NTSC cartridges this is ideal for that i will say the upscaling was pretty good as well you would have seen that on the big telly and i thought that was a quite a quality image coming through there uh, no problem with with running it through 720 which seemed good uh, i'm going to search around for some more composite cables i think and just see if i can get a better picture quality off it because even though the cartridges were running perfectly fine um uh, through the composite on the big telly the colors were fine every time it went through my um, computer they all came out green so I'm not quite sure what's going on there. I've never had a problem with that before anyway. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope this gives you a little bit of insight into uh, this piece of kit here. Uh, it's not one of these in-depth product reviews. It's a bit uh, rough around the edges. Well, all my videos are anyway. But if you like what you've seen and uh, this is something you want to get into, then like I said, you can get these for about 20 quid definitely worth the investment if you do decide to purchase one do let me know how you get on with it uh, by all means as well if you've enjoyed this video feel free to like subscribe comment and hit the notification bell for more videos that get uploaded as and when i can get around and sort them out but for now on behalf of the retro bear trio and myself retro bear saying thank you very much indeed for watching uh, do take care and we'll see you again very 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 soon bye for now